Sanji Chudan Doji Jona La Sanjo Bodo Dana Jobsam Dago Jesu Jebe Dona Dolo Penjo Sanji Dodo Sanji Chudan Doji Jona La Sanjo Bodo Dana Jobsam Dago Jesu Jebe Dona Dolo Penjo Sanji Dodo Jesu Sanje Chodan Doji Jono La Shanja Bado Dono Chasam Dagi Chije Jibe Donam Di Dola Benjo Sanje Dabo Shu Mke Is hot tonight? Are you at hot? A little bit hard, right? Not bad. Very nice. Yeah. It's already dark, 7. 7.20. Wow. I think this is, <laughs> we all sell like some this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, it's okay. Nothing complaint, right? Do you have any complaints? I, yeah. Every time I try to complain, I think of you telling me not to complain. So then I stop complaining. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, you know, if complaint fix the problem, we can complain, of course. But the Shanti Deva, the great master said the complaint doesn't fix the problem. I think we just follow that better. Also our, our own experience for our life. You know, we have many things happen in our life. Even things going nowhere, we try to complain, this is our nature. That when you complain, then, then you're not very happy. We are not happy, everyone. Therefore, if we know if we are able to control someone's you know bring the unhappy feeling then try to not bring that but uh, we don't have the you know control it's not easy but we try no one is perfect except buddha uh, therefore Special like this time in the pandemic time for everyone. I think a lot of people also the mental problem, especially this last couple of months. We are very lucky. You know, I don't know English. They thank God. How is that Tibetan? <laughs> the, I think it's our karma or thank for Buddha. I think we can say both. Thanks Buddha, thanks our karma. We pretty stable. You know, we have always in a challenge, sometimes up, sometimes down. So we have to so much to thinking, you know, what to do, how can I do that, what to do. You know, I always mention you know, we just accept, then uh, I think feels much better. Because we don't accept, we try to fight, then we got a lot of problems. Just accept, then just try to fix. I think this is a good way to uh, keep our mind positive. Okay. Anyway, like that. Now, like today, I think we already been to Combo Killer Place. Now this is a little bit, you always hear, uh, we talk about five, um, five paths, five paths. Therefore, they also, I like to go a little bit slowly this one. We also do a little bit of meditation for step by step. Just example, you know. Uh,
आमचे दोघ सिलेप लाईक दॅट देअर फॉर वी वी ऑलवेज हिअर दिस मेनी टाइम्स दॅन हिअर्स लिटल बिट मोर डिटेल्स to step by step how can we go that uh, okay hmm yeah that jana ah kare nga wa lam nga sum chang she ba sa do ye nga kan de sha અને દેલા મીગ નામ ડાશે So here we'll go slowly uh, in more details uh, because this is something that we have always heard about. And then I'll go to the jagging that. And we'll also meditate a little bit. Because then I'll go to the jagging that. And so let's just start with the jagging that. And so let's just start with the jagging that. And so at this time, you, know, so you uh, develop the path or generate the path by meditating, you know, just by knowing you will not be able to generate the path okay che ta ta na ma ani ta ani lam gen cha ni kare yam ba tela yawa ka se yawa ani mi ga nam ra kare yam ba ani da she kare yam ba ani ka sa je la kani de che yawa se de ni da yawa do and so here it talks about the definition of the path you know the divisions of the paths and uh, synonyms uh, what is the synonyms with an etymology Yeah, and um, and the mode of production is so how it is produced or generated in the mind of the practitioners che ta ta de tane da ta bon sene de ta de ne ga che bo ani ngin ju go ani samba chi mo ma min che ba lam ji ten ni is okay so now the first is the definition of the path you know this is very important and uh, says so the definition of path is an exalted knower which is influenced by the uncontrived intention uh, definitely to emerge oh yeah ani ani garso ah ta kadang ni ngandol lamram jodi ke ros lamram ani cheda ani ngandol lamjo na laiwa અને નિમસે કંદા થાવા તેને લો શુના તે ગિંજુ ચાવા લા સો તા ગિંજુ દે લા રો ઇન લબ તો યો રેસ સો યુ અન્ડરસ્ટેન્ડ ધ ઇન્ટેન્શન ડેફિનેટલી ટુ ઇમર્જ રાઈટ ધેટ ધેટ મીન્સ પ્રોનન્સિએશન પ્રોનન્સિએશન ઇન અધર વર્ડ અમ સો જસ્ટ લાઈક ઇટ ઇઝ સેડ ઇન ધ થ્રી પ્રિન્સિપલ એસ્પેક્ટ ઓફ પાથ સો વેન યુ હેવ ધ વિશ ટુ બી ફ્રી ફ્રોમ સાયકલાઈઝેશન થ્રુ આવર ડે એન્ડ નાઈટ એટ ધેટ ટાઈમ યુ હેવ જનરેટેડ ઇનોન્સિએશન ઇન યોર માઇન્ડ જેદા નામ જોતા ગાજો કદીના લામરમ દા લોબ જોતા તો કામ બો કોદે ગેર વાસ ઇન જો મે જો મે જો સેટ સો વી ઓલવેઝ હિયર અબાઉટ રિનન્સિએશન ઓલ ધ ટાઈમ ઇન ધ ટીચિંગ્સ ઓન લામરમ યુ નો ઓન ધ માઇન્ડ ટ્રેનિંગ એન્ડ સો ફોર્થ રાઈટ ઓકે જેદા ખાસા લામરમ ન ગા ગાતો શે સો વાસ અને રાતે દ સામનો તે તાના અને ગિન જો ચી વિચિદ જેંદે દે તે સામનો ન જી ચી વિચિદ ઓરે સે તે સામે દ ખરે રે so last last time last time we talked about if you develop that thought you know upon oneself it is renunciation when you develop that thought upon others then you develop compassion so what is that thought okay who would like to answer when you develop the the the, the thought yeah what what kind of thought um compassion toward yourself would be renunciation and then toward others would be uh for bodhicitta is that what you're asking what was the question a thought when you generate towards yourself is a renunciation when you generate that towards others you know is a uh, compassion what what can kind of thought 
Oh, the wish to not suffer. Wishing to be free from suffering. The thought wishing to be free from suffering, right? So if you wish that upon yourself, then that's a renunciation. When you wish that on others, then that's the compassion. Okay, everyone got that? And so, uh, how do you generate uh, renunciation? Uh, is when you have developed this very strong wish, you know, wanting to be free from cyclic existence, uh, uh, samsara, uh, suffering, and then that time, that's, that's what, you know, um, renunciation is, you know, wish to be free from suffering. So is this like <clears throat> so if you have a, um, a wish in wanting to be free, um, wanting to achieve freedom you know, throughout day and night, then that time you have developed renunciation. So uh, wanting to be free from the suffering of psychic existence all the time, throughout day and night. And that time you have renounced, you know, developed renunciation. Okay. And then renunciation is the one that the lamb is the one that So whenever the person has generated renunciation, um, that's when he or she has entered into the path. So... So here, I mean, it's, it, you know, it's, it's influenced by the contrived, uncontrived, right? Uncontrived, is it? So what does the uncontrived mean? Does, does that mean truthful, like a truthful intention, not yeah. just a intellect? Is it? I know it's, it's, it's more, it, it's not art of, uh, it, it's um, spontaneous. Um, yeah. Like, Spontaneous? Um, well, like a uh, effortless. Effortless, is it? Mm -hmm. Uncontrived, that's what it means? Uh, uncontrived. Contrived means deliberately created. So uncontrived would be you don't have to deliberately create it. That so which, spontaneous. That's spontaneous. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's, um, one thing that's definitely spontaneous, it has to be there, you know, because you have developed it so long, so for so long that it just comes by itself. You don't have to think about, you know, wanting to be liberated. You, know. you want to have that, you have to have that thought all the time. But actually, you know, the, the, the Choma Maimba, you know, in Tibetan we say Choma Maimba, that means like genuine, you know, doesn't have any fake in it, no fakeness. Like real, a genuine renunciation. Okay. Yeah, so, so like you know, spontaneous or effortless, you know, I guess. Okay. Then I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to and that kind of thought, you know, has to be developed throughout day and night. Yeah, not only sometimes, and sometimes yes, and sometimes no, not like that. It has to be there all the time, spontaneously, effortlessly, throughout day and night. Right now we have that fake one, you know, the, 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 the one that we have to make an effort to develop. So like the mother has um, you know concern for the child you know all the time right you don't have to make an effort you know to have that concern for the child so no matter what i'm going to take care of my child you know, like that that kind of thought is there all the time okay you 
Kanji Susuga and Dunga de Dungan, Jeve Dunga, Chava de Dunga, and Jesamatan, eh? The Dunga de and the Susura Dunga won't tell a tavig. That take Tago and do some teletavi tower to you, Lotala. I think you choose some basket of And so, <coughs> so anyway, that kind of thought, right? So, like it said here in the definition, it doesn't know which is influenced by the uncontrived uh, intention definitely to uh, emerge, you know, means. Uh, intention, you know, to be free from the suffering of the cyclic existence. So shall we meditate for a little while now? Yes, yes, Ken. So are we saying that the definition of a path is an exalted knower? That's the part of the definition, yes. How cool, though? Yes, so it, if it is a path, it has to be exalted nowhere. Okay. There, there is no path without exalted nowhere. And is the word exalted, does that mean like a, a higher state of being? Or what is the word exalted? Yeah, it is like um, the you know, high level quality of the mind. Okay. So, yeah, that's you know, exalted in a sense like it is not just ordinary mind, you know. So, when you have developed that kind of thought, then your mind becomes exalted. I see. So right now, do you have uh, uh, the wish in wanting to abandon the ten non-virtuous action? The mind that thinks that oh, creating non ten non-virtuous action is not good, so I should not do that or I should abandon that. Like that, that kind of thought. Do you have? I do. Yes, I definitely have that thought. Yeah. And so that thought, that thought is what we call, you know, uh, like the knower, exalted knower. Because with the cost of that thought, you will not engage you know, in the ten non-virtuous actions. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> And so uh, now we're going to meditate on the, the wish wanting to be free from suffering. Okay? So first you have to make an effort you know, to develop that wish, that thought wanting to be free from suffering. Okay? And then, uh, then if you actually meditate, meditate, meditate for a long time, then that becomes uh, uncontrived like, uh, or effortless, yes? spontaneous, effortless. And then, then, then at that time, then that you know, uh, thought has become the path. Chetan, dig it. Dunga said it. Banana do leka maybe kangye da chige nami pathi mati roke je thre do alag mata ya kaje dunga sumo kangra lagar was the koko gure. And so here we're not talking about just uh, the regular suffering that we consider as suffering of like, you know, um, falling sick yourself or your family member or you losing your job or getting fired and so forth. Not like that kind of suffering, okay? So it has to be like talking about the, uh, like the three kinds of sufferings, you know, the suffering of suffering, suffering of change and all progressive sufferings. So, so of course, for that, you have to understand what are the three kinds of sufferings, right? The suffering of suffering, and the, all, and the suffering of change and all pervasive suffering. Do you understand that? Okay, now we're going to meditate for five minutes on that. And the first two minutes you can spend on analyzing about the three kinds of sufferings. And then, the, then, uh, uh, then the next you know, three minutes, you know, then you can you know, do a stabilized meditation you know, uh, on, uh, on thought wanting to be free from those suffering. 
Ane tenre jene gom jane ta ju kalle shara jam ko ngongo shushu ko do. Ane tenre jene kola dumala thando lo kewa na kada ngju chen ko. And so, um, <coughs> meditating for a long time like that, you know, when you have that thought, wanting to be free from suffering, um, or free from the psychic existence, um, uh, <coughs> del- you know, uh, undeliberately, you know, without you know, uh, you know, any effort, then that time you have developed uh, the renunciation. Hey. So you don't need to be um, introduced. You know, or explained about the three sufferings, right? You all did all those, all, all the three sufferings, right? Okay.
so that kind of thought, you know, when you have in your mind without having to make any, uh, uh, having, having to make much effort, uh, comes spontaneously. And then that time, that time, then you have developed uh, the renunciation and you have entered into the path, into a path. Understand? Understand? Or uncontrived renunciation. So right now, you know, of course, we have to make efforts. So our, you know, we can say our uh, renunciation is kind of contrived. So we have to make effort, right? It's not spontaneous. But then, if we keep on meditating, meditating all the time like that, then it will become you know, spontaneous, uncontrived. Okay. And And so like that, when you, um, you know, have developed the path, I mean, the, the renunciation in your mind, and you know, I wish you wanting to be free from suffering throughout day and night, spontaneously, uh, then, you know, you have uh, developed the renunciation, you know, you have entered into a path, you know, you achieve the first path of the, the path, the path of accumulation, and you become a person on the path. And so until then, you know, we have to keep on meditating and contemplating, meditating and contemplating on that until we achieve that uh, level of thought. So you think it's possible to meditate in that way and, uh, and develop the renunciation? So anyway, so if, you know, you have to meditate you know, on that thought, wanting to be free from suffering. So to do so, you have to understand the sufferings, right? You have to know what are the sufferings, the, like the, the three kinds of suffering, suffering of suffering, suffering of change, and all progressive suffering. So once you know them, then you have to have this thought, want to do, and a thought very strongly wanting to be free from those sufferings, right? And uh, just like if somebody is, you know, uh, contracted, you know, with uh, COVID-19, and he or she will have this thought, and how do I, how should, how, uh, what can I do to, you know, um, <clears throat> free myself from this uh, virus? You know? What can I do? What can I do? So all the time thinking about that, wanting to be free from that virus, you know? So just like that, you, know, you have to have that thought all the time wanting to be free from all these three kinds of sufferings throughout day and night. And when you have that, then that you, at that time you have developed the renunciation. And so right now, you know, we have this uh, thought not wanting to uh, uh, get infected, you know, by this virus, right? Throughout day and night, you know, all the time, 24 hours a day, you know, we are thinking, you know, to uh, protect ourselves, you know, how we, sh how we can not, you know, uh, they contracted contracted by this uh, disease. So even while we have that thought, you know, we're still doing other things. You know, we are doing our job, we're working, you know, we're eating, sleeping, and so forth. But that thought is in the back of our mind or back of our head all the time. Okay. ตาตามบูจาเนี่ยเนี่ยเซชั่นนอว์ไรท์ตาเทนดีอันนี้ตาเนาะเตลัมเลยตาลัมละชูเวลัมละชูรูเดสตาลัมชูโคดาชาโร
uh, the path. So and it's, there's many different ways of dividing it in, in terms of such and such like that. So here it says divided in terms of object. You know, when it's you know, divided in terms of object, there are five. Jada ani chane karo chunga to thalam kitan bata. Pana choose that ani dene samla jata. Ta the ani chhi thengi to ji karo. Ta the la yachi. Yena mane chhi ta the o kode o samore. Kanje lam ngam sam changa ge ani chhi so thambo sabi ne kai bata ani chunga to sechi. Ani thene ya ya ani dene to jolang thengi lo ba. And then there's some the tenshi to jeta kaji and then the tenda. What a mama yamana te tate yamana tema joje. Pena dene dene sum ane dodi dene tate to coca le catamare. Can it love this? Yamana ta ane chigas and the cache tamisum jit so tambo sabi in the kaiza ane chung at all over is. So then it talks about the definition of the path of accumulation, right? And it says the definition of the path of accumulation is a clear realization of the doctrine. So the, here the doctrine is referring to the three baskets of the teachings, right? three baskets of the teachings. And it says a uh, clear realization of the doctrine. Uh, and so also uh, you know, the, the reason why it's called the path of accumulation is, you know, is the studying you know, of the path you know, for accumulating all this great amount of merit you know, to achieve liberation or enlightenment. Ale, cheda da kandar tholam jolam tholam golam sna kaje ye ye tosu kani ka ka yung ye tosu ye tosu kani. And so, in terms of the object, in terms of the object, and there are this this uh, this uh, uh, the four parts, you know, the the first four parts, like the part of accumulation, part of preparation, part of seeing, and part of meditation, are different. And then it says that uh, in terms of uh, periods, in terms of periods, there are there are three: the two <coughs> the two meditative kupois and subsequent attainment, and the part that is neither of those two. And then meditative kupois, you know, is in when one one is in meditative meditation. So so here is the meditative kupois is to meditate on either selflessness or emptiness. And then the subsequent attainment, you know, uh, is the any kind of mind that is manifesting, uh, <coughs> manifesting, and other than. Uh, uh, the mind you know, at the meditative mind at the time of the meditative boys. And so, the so, um, so then um, the, 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 the part that is neither of those two, you know, neither um, <clears throat> um, meditative corpus nor the subsequent attainment, right? So that's the, the mind that is not manifesting. You know? Uh, and either uh, during the meditative kupois or uh, during the subsequent attainment. So the mind that is not manifesting during either of those two times, you know, is the neither of those two. You understand, right? Is that clear? I think so so jala de me kada kche ni ani nyentu da ani raja da mari ani tenji go ni ani nyentu raja thewa chimbo sum cha re ste jala de me kada kche ni. So can I ask if if the mind is not either of those two, then what what is it? So that's the neither of those two. So that's either has to be uh, meditative kupois, you know, or subsequent attainment, or neither of those two. So the neither of those two will be the mind that is not manifesting 
and at the time of uh, an admitted to boys or um, <clears throat> subsequent attendance. So for example, like when you are meditating, in a, when you're in meditative group voice, you are meditating on selflessness or emptiness, right? But you have bodhicitta in your mind. Let's say on a minor path, you have a bodhicitta in your mind. So bodhicitta is not manifesting at that time. So at that time, the bodhicitta is neither of those two. It's not to meditative group voice, and it's not subsequent attainment. And it is neither of those two at that time. I see. <laughs> So right now, do you have a mind you know, of sleep, the, con the consciousness you know, of the sleeping time? What is the sleeping time? Yeah, consciousness the mind at the time of the sleep. When you're sleeping, you're con you have a consciousness, right? At the time of oh, sleep. Oh, I see. Yeah, when I'm sleeping, I'm not doing, maybe dreaming, but not on purpose. So at the time of sleep, is there any mind manifesting or no? I say no. I think it's mind doing nothing. Bob, you're right. It's Bob. What do you think? Yeah, there's a mind. Yeah, if you know no mind, you already die, right? <laughs> <laughs> Are you dead night time? You work, you love data? <laughs> it's not like that, right? Data, I do, but 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 I do. So at the time of sleep, you know, when you're sleeping, mm -hmm. do you have a virtuous mind? Uh, I think it's neutral. Like not, it's, it's not doing. Yeah. And what about non-virtuous mind? Do you have non-virtuous mind at the time of sleep? Sometimes. Yeah, it's, yeah. There is <laughs> some, when you we, we have a virtuous mind and we have non-virtuous mind during the time of sleep, but it's just not manifesting. It's there, but it's not just manifesting. So that's what manifesting or not manifesting means. Do you have anger in your mind? Right now. Do you have anger? Everyone. Yes, no. I see you're not you're in Not Do you have anger? I mean, probably, yes. Not thinking about it, probably. Do you have anger? I mean, I probably do, but I'm not really mad at anybody particularly, but I bet I do have anger somewhere. Yeah, yeah we all have, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what it means. You, know, you have anger, but it's, you're not particularly angry at anybody right now. That means the anger is not manifesting. Oh, that's right. So just like that, a person in meditative kupois, like the practitioner on the path in, in meditative kupois, uh, has other minds like loving kindness, compassion, bodhicitta, and so forth, but it's not manifesting at that time because the mind is only thinking about selflessness or emptiness. Okay. Okay. So and like that, also um, the, the subsequent attainment um, the person on the subsequent attainment also has uh, uh, the, uh, the realization you know, of uh, the emptiness and selflessness, but it's not manifesting at that time. So that is, you know, that is the one you know, which, which is called neither of those two, neither meditative kupois nor subsequent attainment. And so that's let's say so if we say uh, the the sleeping you know is like meditative kupois and uh, awaking, awaken mm -hmm. and uh, waking up you know waking up you know is like a, a subsequent attainment and so is there a mind that is neither sleeping what do you think, time of the mind nor awaken time of the mind time of the mind. What do you think, that's the kind of mind. Neither of those two, neither of sleeping, neither sleeping nor awaking. 
Okay, yeah, Jennifer, do you hear me? Yeah, I don't think there is um, a third option between sleeping and wakefulness. Okay. There's no third option. So I think I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to do it right now. So uh, is, there a, is there a mind that is not manifesting or, uh, during those times? So mind that is not manifesting during a sleep or mind that is not manifesting during awakening? Yes. All the things are that you can't remember the tenor of the other. That will be neither of those two. Okay, but tenor could take all the other. Well, that wasn't the question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. There's something. Yeah. I challenge you to take. So that's, that's, that's what it is, you know. So is there a mind that is neither of, is there a mind that is neither um, you know, the time and uh, the sleep or nor uh, an awakening? Yamuna, Yamuna waking in Karota, Nimaku Shibana Legacy Gorevasana. Nimaku Shabadi. Legacy Gorevasana. Niku Shabadi. Nimaku Shibana Legacy Gorevasana Karikota. So if it is a um, you know awakened mind, if it's awakened, you know like you know mind at the time of awake, it function. It has to be, it has to be uh, functioning. It has to be you know, busy doing some work. You mean manifest in? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not manifest. It, it, it has, does it have to be you know active? Yeah, active. If waking mind, waking mind. A waking mind has an object that it's yeah, thinking Yeah, exactly. About. Okay. If it is a waking mind, it necessarily needs an object? Okay. If it is an object, then they also do the function? Yes. Okay. Right now, do you have angry? Not active. They're, I'm sure they're not active. Not active means that you don't have anger. I have the seeds of anger just waiting to be turned on. <laughs> so when you're talking, what kind of mind is manifesting? The mind of talking, right? But then there are also many other thoughts in the back you know, of your mind that is there, but it's just not manifesting at that time because what is manifesting, you know, is the mind that is talking. Yeah, so, yeah, so, you know, we have all kinds of mind, you know, you know, all kinds of, you know, thoughts of mind, you know, consciousness in our mind stream but it's just not manifesting you know and it's just like you said Mark you know, it's waiting you know to manifest let's say that chat attack counter and a shiba in bachi and the machi we shiba kai in bada nyamja karama in bada that nido koko da lam and so anyways so it's a it's a mind that is not manifesting you know uh you know either during military poise or um uh in a subsequent attainment so that kind of mind is called neither Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 So when you have when you have developed when you have a, um, developed the renunciation, then you enter into uh, the path of accumulation, the path of accumulation of uh, either of these three uh, vehicles. And So which vehicle do you want to enter into? Okay, Mark, which one you like? A what? Which vehicle, which vehicle you choose to enter the path? What are my choices? <laughs> yeah, if you, have, if you have choice, which one you choice? The highest one. <laughs> which one the highest one? 
you mean like the path to no more learning? No, 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 no. Okay, can you uh, explain for Jennifer? Yeah. Um, of the of the three, um, the hero, the solitary realizer, and and the 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 Mahayana or the the Bodhisattva. Which of those three? Fourth, you know, can you explain that? Fourth, when you are in a visualization or what's that, renunciation, then you become a path. There are three different paths. Which one you choose? Well, I aspire to Mayahana, but sometimes, honestly, solitary realizer, too. So, honestly, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I can't stand people. <laughs> okay, like, uh, <laughs> that's true, that's true, yeah, you are red. That's true, yeah. We honest to you. So you, un you understand those three, right? The three vehicles. Yeah, it's like a, a house with the three different ways, you know, to the three different entrances. Okay. So if you have a choice, you know, of those three, which one will you choose? Hi. I mean, to, to reach your ultimate potential to become a fully enlightened Buddha, of course, the Mayahana path is the superior path, of course. Okay. What difference the Mayahana path and the other path? What makes it different? They all seem to renunciation. What makes it different? Because with, when you're on the Buddhist path of uh, the Mayahana, you, do, you, you have omniscience, but you also have um no other obscuration so you you've reached perfection no i didn't get that. What, what jennifer or bob can you explain what does it bodhicitta would be the difference no what 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 mark said oh he said uh, you'd have no obscurations to omniscience what means um should it should it Oh, no, 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 Mark, you go to the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> it's not wrong direction. You are very too, too high. <laughs> you just enter the door, okay? They have three, three houses. One house has a gold. One house has a silver. One, one house has a just only just maybe nice decoration. Now you have three keys you have. Which door you open? Gold. Talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> gold or red? Cheda da, that you gold, okay, like that, right? Cheda da, thing na ne, na ne, ginju imba chip chipa imba chip. Ta ka kari kari, some to kari so na ta kalo kuda. So the the all three all these three vehicles you need a renunciation to enter into, right? And so what makes you the what makes the difference? You know, uh, what kind of thought makes the difference uh, in which you know vehicle you enter into? The aspiration to avoid suffering for others is what separates the Mayahana virtues from the others. Yeah. Oh. Jennifer and Bob, or Margaret, or Karen, or I think Josh. Almost there. Almost uh, not, not, ju not just the wish to, to, to free others from suffering, but the determination to free others from suffering. More than just the wish, the determination to free others from suffering. It's bodhicitta. OK, Margaret. Definition is that I myself alone shall attain Buddhahood to free all suff all sentient beings from their suffering. I myself alone will take the effort to do it. <laughs> this is Bodhicitta. This is Bodhicitta, isn't it? The Mahayana too. What uh, Jennifer, can you say? Yeah, she um, was just saying that. Yeah, Bodhicitta is is the key to the door to the Mahayana. That's good, yeah, that's good. Do you hear the mark? Yeah. Good. Are you, are you accept that? Yeah, I mean, that's a tall order. <laughs> <laughs> How about Karen? 
Do you understand? Okay. How about Josh? Do you understand? Maybe. Yeah, I, I think I understand. Um, yeah, slowly, so slowly, slowly. It takes time. It's not easy, okay? Okay. Tang and Tambo Chanzo Ninju Kadi, Cheva Yanaya, Lamla Shores, Ninju Cheva Tete, Ninsega Tawa Tinu Shunang, the Tang of the Lamrum, the Lodon, the Tatama Jaton Trim of Love Tempus. Anyway, so <clears throat> whenever you have developed renunciation, that's when you have entered into the path. And when you have developed renunciation, is when you have that thought, wanting to be free from suffering throughout day and night. So we have already you know, heard this so many times in the Lamrim and mind, on, mind training teachings. And so just like we did a meditation earlier, you know, we have to meditate on that, you know, uh, continuously till we have this thought spontaneously without having to make any effort when you have this thought um, like by itself or automatically then that's when you have developed the renunciation and when that thought of wanting to be free from suffering you know is conjoined uh, with the bodhicitta then you enter into the mahana path and then uh, instead of you know having that bodhicitta or uh, altruism, uh, if you just have um, that wish, you know, wanting to be free from suffering for oneself alone, uh, then you enter into the you know um, the Mahai on a Hinayana vehicle, or either uh, hearers or soldiers or others. And the And then how do you know which you know of these two paths, the uh, heroes and solid villagers path, which of these two paths you enter into? You know, is uh, depending on whichever you are more familiar with. If you're more familiar with the selflessness, you enter into the Heroes vehicle. If you are uh, <coughs> uh, more familiar with the non duality, then um, yeah, you enter into the, um, the soldier rights path. Okay, that is what I tell you. Any ten you can any Neras or some you was touching at the tone of the Nitella, Neras or the tone of some you tangled up at the other was. And then, uh, so that's those are the, the divisions, you know, in terms of. Uh, the um, <clears throat> the period you know, the object and so forth and then there's the definition now the definition of the path of accumulation is the clear realization of the doctrine and and then this is just talking about the general path of accumulation, not particular path of accumulation. So then, therefore, when this path of accumulation is divided, there are like six, there are three, the hearers, soldier rajas, and Mahayana's path of accumulation. And that's the definition of the hearers. So now the first, uh, the hearers path of accumulation. It says, dear, hearers path of accumulation is a clear realization of hearers doctrine. And that, that has three, like the small, middling, and great. And each of those you know, has three. So the small one has three, the middling one has three, great has three. So those three are so the direct perception, inferential cognition, and subsequent cognitions. Okay. Okay. So now, can you, will you be able to say how you developed the path without looking into the text, either Jennifer, Bob, or Deborah? Or anyone. Yeah, try. Because the Tanejana and the social law, you are the so if you if you say it, you know, then it will stay. It will have to stay in your mind. Deborah okay. can't talk, so. Go ahead. 
Do you want to go, Bob? Yeah. All right. Who can go score? Okay, so uh, you enter into the path when you develop pronunciation, uh, which is a non-contrived uh, wish to be free from suffering throughout day and night. Okay. And then the path with the which one you enter, whether it's the path of it's the path of accumulation you would enter, and whether it's the solitary real the, sorry the hearer's path, the solitary realizer's path, or the bodhisattva path would be uh, the the hearer's path would be if you're uh, most familiar with selflessness, the solitary realizer's path if you're most familiar with uh, non-duality, and the bodhisattva path if you have bodhicitta. Good, good, good. Everyone understand like that? Can I ask a question? Yes. So to, just to confirm, that was one, the one thing that I was still a little hazy on. Hearer, selflessness. So you're thinking more of others. And then solitary realizer, maybe you're thinking more of the self. So you realize non-duality. Um, so you can be solitary. And then bodhisattva is both. You're solitarily free but also you're working for the elevation of humanity okay either that this question for you up uh, okay so the selflessness in this case is the selflessness of persons which is i think the realization that the person is um imputed on the five aggregates uh, i think i think i have that no, I don't think I have that definition quite right. <laughs> but, but to but realize the selflessness okay. of the persons, but it's not selflessness in the same way as bodhicitta. Okay, Jennifer, do you want to add something? I think that's good, yeah. Yes, Jennifer? No. Uh, so, Joshua, the, those, um, the, the selflessness, it, in that case, it, it refers to the object of meditation, the main mod object of meditation of each of those types of vehicles. So the selflessness would be a, um, a, uh, a non-substantial -subs uh, um, selflessness of persons. Um, so it isn't really about their motivation. They, they, they would be more, um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> good, good, good. You know, that I I a question, right? It, to go, because this is still like the surface. So all three vehicles, they have a, a realization of emptiness. If you have a full realization, an authentic realization of emptiness, you're going to realize emptiness of phenomena and emptiness of self. So could you explain what is the relationship between the clear light mind and bodhicitta? Karela. <laughs> Um, so first of all, of course, there's a long explanation, you know, of all these things you can't understand just by two words. Um, so first of all, according to this, uh, you know, this is according to the, the Madamika, you know, it's, uh, what's it? Um, so this is according to the Sabatantika uh, Madamika, not the Sabatantika Madamika, so Sabatantika Madamika system. And so in the Sabatantika Madamika system, it is not necessary to realize emptiness. And so all these the three vehicles, you know, the practitioner on the three vehicles, all the three vehicles don't realize emptiness necessarily. Anybody? <laughs> And so, I mean, you know, when you talk about the clear light, 
you know, it's the, the mind that is free from the uh, delusion. So whenever you are free from particular delusions, you have achieved the clear light in the mind of, uh, um, of being free from that delusion. And bodhicitta actually comes before that. So if, if there's no bodhicitta, then there's no way to have a clear light. Okay. okay. That's good. Okay. 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 ジェンコラサマダナデレ。テネマリサルダ。ネセデカナ。ネマダマドダメソトカルセティカルカレカレダメカレトンバレス。ダメソナガンドソソサマナジヨマリラグレス。ソソサマナジチョヨマリラグレ